came in over a pretty big bump, an olive jar decides that it would like to open and spill its juice all over my van. I dropped some dark chocolate blueberries down in the crevice. I just had to get them, because one, I was gonna eat them off the ground, and two, I don't want that sh melting down there. No, thank you. What the heck? I don't know, is it broken for good? Hi, I'm Montana Dana, and on today's episode of Girl vs. Van, I check out the bike paths in Moab, find a hike that's super Instagram worthy, and break yet another thing in the van. Good morning. So first thing I like to do every morning is open the side door for a little air. Maybe I'll put on some pants first. Let's see where we're at today. Still in Moab. Whoa, it's bright. Hello. Ooh, baby. Hello, friends. Usually the very first thing I do is make a coffee and go on a walk. But since I've been uploading daily videos, I still can't believe my eyes. Since I've been uploading daily videos, I actually go straight to a coffee shop and upload. Get my coffee there. And then we'll go on a walk later tonight. I probably could open my eyes, but all I had left were my diva lashes. And they're very heavy. Very extremely heavy. So right now I gotta get ready to drive. Gotta put all these away. <laughs> Just when I was so proud of myself for getting everything hinged, everything's locked, everything's off the walls, desk is closed. We have the little plant situation. This is why I cannot have real plants in the van. Oh, oh no. We got a suicidal plant. It goes down here. Okay, we're good. I just heard something hitting the wall. I'm like, damn it, why am I so bad at this? We're learning. Every morning I've been going to Moab Roasters. They have decent internet, as long as you sit in the right spot. But there's like a total of four outlets and there's only outdoor seating. So you kind of have to be strategic. I get there early. So I just, right when I wake up, I pack up and I go just so I can get a spot. And sometimes I still have to wait. I just would like one day without washboard roads. Just one day. Just like, just a nice, smooth, quiet, peaceful drive into town. That's all I want. No, it's actually not too bad here at BLM land. I'm down Willow Springs Road. If you ever want to camp here, it's like the spot to be. And another spot that someone told me about that kind of lives around here in their van. So if you go to Lions Park, there's a really big, pretty bridge. <sighs> and actually on the other side of the bridge, there's a little like docking area for boats and stuff. You can park your van there overnight. As long as you're not rowdy or building fires or anything, you won't get kicked out. So I stayed there the other night. There weren't as many people there, but it was right on the edge of town, so it was nice just to kind of pop over there. I pulled in at like 11, slept, and then left in the morning. So that parking spot I was telling you about, you actually do a left-hand turn right there. I know it's creepy because you're on the other side of the divider, but look how pretty it is over there. I mean, you're truly living in a van down by the river to park there, but it's pretty spot. I did this exact same rollerblading path yesterday. Got lots of pretty footage, so I'm gonna share that with you now. George, Moab might have you beat on the sweet bike paths. Beautiful views, it's nice and smooth. Holy shnikes. told me I need to make TikToks, so today we're gonna TikTok. How you gonna do it if you really don't wanna dance? By standing on the wall, get your back up off the 
Yesterday I rollerbladed toward the Arches entrance. I'd highly recommend going opposite way of Arches because it's way more shady over here, way more cool. Cool for the summer. It's 95 degrees today, so. So I just went down to the end. I'm gonna go back to the parking lot and then instead of going over to Arches and back to the parking lot, I'm gonna do this twice. By the way, if you don't know if it's today Dana talking or yesterday Dana talking, today I'm wearing spiders on my eyeballs. So, dead giveaway. Well, holy shit, whichever day it is, the view is still fantastic. It's a little rocky here by the freeway, however. A little rocky. Dang it, I broke my Fitbit. I dropped some dark chocolate blueberries down in the crevice. I just had to get them, because one, I was gonna eat them off the ground, and two, I don't want that shit melting down there. No, thank you. What the heck? I don't know, is it broken for good? Please be fixable. Oh no, guys, I think it's broken for good. I mean, I think I just need a new strap. I'm pretty sure that's all it is, so. I swear if I break one more damn thing in this van, I'm gonna be so pee-offed. Is this a good angle? Cool. I'm gonna start vlogging like this from now on. Is that cool with you guys? I'm hot. Let's go shower and make some lunch. Actually, first, I'm gonna go pee even though I don't have to pee because hashtag van life. I'm gonna go fill up my water jugs. I'm at Lions Park right now. They have bathrooms over there. The bike path is over there. And then Arches is across the bridge. And so is that parking spot I was talking about earlier. So it's a good place to kind of chill. There's like a shady tree area. I parked here a couple times. This keeps the van nice and cool in the summer. But she's totally hanging out right now. Sorry, boys. It's not like in a cute way, like, ooh, hey girl. It's like, you know, whoa girl, whoa girl, whoa. Put those double butt cheeks away. I got quad butt, I got quadruple butt right now. Really not cute. So I went to shower at the same aquatic center that I went to yesterday. It's $7 for a shower. So I've been doing that every day for the last several days. After my shower, I just hang up my towel on this little guy. Works perfect. This thing just goes right back in there. Gonna put on my makeup. Gonna make some eggs and avocado toast for love. And then I have to go wash out my bed from yesterday, so I'm most likely gonna wash this in the water fountain in the park. So I'm one of those people now. Actually pretty easy. I have my biodegradable soap. I'll do one of these. Grab my little brush. Go there. Got a little towel to dry it all off with. Now to self, always wash dishes right away from now on. That is caked on there. Apparently letting spicy brown mustard cake overnight in your van in a bowl in the 97 degree heat. It's not the best decision. Who knew? Who knew? So I'm making a salad to go for dinner and I officially know my least favorite part of my van build. Let me show you. The fridge is by far my least favorite part because it's so wedged in here. This doesn't stay up by itself. So I have to hold this while I'm rummaging through my fridge. Everything's like stacked on top of each other. So you have to pull a bunch of shit out to get anything you're looking for. And then stuff spills all over your front. See, it is just a goddamn shit show. Carrots, spicy brown mustard. Watch your fingers. Oh, it's hot. It's very hot. What else do we need? Anything? Ew. It's all soupy in the bottom. That's nasty. Ooh, I think that's it. Sometimes I'll like hold it with my leg, but then I can't, I can't reach very well. Did it. Made it. Yeah, it's a very like deep fridge, but everything's like stacked. I mean, it keeps the temperature very cool though. It's consistently 33 degrees. So I love the actual refrigerator, just I'd probably put it in a different location. <sighs> so hot today, it's like 96 degrees. Boob sweat, it's my favorite. Go ahead and start that digestion process right now. I don't like big leaves in my lettuce. I don't know about you. I'm more like a chopped lettuce type of gal. I've been loving basil in my salads. Nice and fresh summer taste. I also put um, cheese and tomatoes in there. It's a good combo. I spent $30 on all these fixins, so I'm trying to like get three meals out of it if possible. I mean, that's a pretty expensive salad. This chicken was all over the bottom of my fridge yesterday, but we're going with it. It's actually really good. It comes in this little container. True Story is the brand. People are laughing at me because I'm talking to my camera. You guys can laugh at me too, it's okay. Because what I'm doing is kind of funny to the average folk. Okay, 
right, now we've got our chicken slices. Now we're doing some veg. I mean, if we're gonna be on camera, I might as well make it look pretty, dang. Okay, this is way too pretty not to share. I'm trying to stay healthy on the road, so I've been loving salads. They're super easy, no bake, no cook. Just throw it all in a bowl. I actually found some local spinach and they provided the edible flowers with it. Got nature's blow dryer happening. I've never eaten a flower before. I'm gonna try this. I don't taste anything. Just that delicious garlic basil sauce. About to do a workout for my Fit Babe Daily channel. We're in week five of the New Bloom Challenge. If you guys wanna sign up for ad-free content and my fitness program or any other fun things with little perks like my music, shout outs in these videos, there's a link down in the description for my Patreon. That's how I pretty much survive on the road. So appreciate you guys who are patrons. Right now I'm filming a booty band, lower body workout. It's gonna be a tough one. It's 90 degrees outside. I was actually going up to Arches and it was closed. We're gonna try it later, but we're back at this little park we were at earlier. It's got this pretty red rock, so hopefully we can find a pretty view right here. I think this spot looks nice. Let's frame it up and see. Can't really see the mountain, so maybe we'll move it back a little. Am I gonna look too small? I'll probably look too small. I don't love it. Okay, I think I found the spot. We're just right here in the grass with that view. Poopery saves the day. We're like all good to go. Was any of that usable? I feel like it was all out of focus. We're going with it. Just out taking those magic hour photos. I could do this walk every night, seriously. I look like a damn fool taking all these pictures. And there are far more fail photos than good ones, but maybe I'll show you those, maybe I won't. I showed you them, didn't I? Editing Dan is kind of mean. It's kind of mean to me. I'm on the hunt for some hoary asters. I saw some when I was here. They're right around here somewhere. I kind of want to pick some for the photo, but I don't know if you're supposed to pick them in a park. I also don't know if I want to pick them. Where'd they go? Maybe they're down farther. Oh, I found them. They're down there in that bush. I might be able to get a shot with the hoary asters in it, and then I'll be out of focus in the background. Let's try that. That sounds lovely. <laughs> We're on from BLM land, so the Iowa Verlander app takes you all these crazy places, but look how many people are camping out here. Been here for about a week and just found a new spot tonight. I don't feel like doing the washboard roads and I don't really feel like out back in tonight. I think this is actually the spot that I first did stealth camping, a little mini Prius C. Are you guys seeing this moon right now? Crazy. What oh the my heck? God. Oh my God, that's pretty. <laughs> yeah. No way I'm getting a photo of that. <laughs> I know, right? I tried to get a video just now. I'm like, there's no point. Hello, my van smells like olives. I just went grocery shopping. Got some dinner, goat cheese, salmon, cranberry crisp crackers, and I got some ramen. And I thought olives would be good with the combination. Came in over a pretty big bump. An olive jar decides that it would like to open and spill its juice all over my van. My whole van smells like olive juice. It's disgusting. I'm still enjoying my dinner. It's actually really delicious. We'll clean it later. Guess we're going to the laundry mat tomorrow. I didn't realize it was dripping out the bottom of the bag, so I carried the bag in here and it's like drip, 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 drip all along the way. Pretty gross, but here we are. Found a good place to park. See you in the morning. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, write all of you down in the comments. Cause all of you, all of you. In tomorrow's video, we catch a beautiful sunset on our way out of Moab and spend the night in front of the Mexican hat. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you love to share it with your friends. See you tomorrow.